Okay, we're going to get started on our inner back album page, which is our envelope pocket. So you are going to cut a base piece that we're going to build on. To, we're going to make our accordion envelope pocket on this base. I used 110 pound cardstock. So that base is eight and three eighths inches by seven and a half. Eight and three eighths by seven and a half. So cut that and put that aside. Then you're going to get a piece, another piece of 110 pound cardstock. And this is all black. I'm just using white so you can see it better. So this is going to be 10 inches by seven and one quarter inches. So you're going to put it on the 10 inch side up. And then you are going to score it. Let me get this so you can see it better. You are going to score it at a half an inch. Seven eighths of an inch. And one and one quarter. So again, half an inch. seven eighths of an inch and one one quarter. Then you're going to go over to eight and three quarters, nine and one eighth and nine and a half. So eight and three quarters, nine and one eighth, nine and a half. Then you're going to flip it over so the seven and a half inch side is on top and you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch. And and one eighth of an inch, or one eighth, three quarters of an inch and one inch. So three quarters of an inch, we're forming a quarter inch gusset and one inch. So here was where I, I wrote it down. So. You're going to score it half an inch, seven eighths of an inch, one and one quarter. Then you're going to go over and score it at eight three quarters, nine and one eighth, and nine and a half. At the bottom, you're going to score it three quarters of an inch and a, a one inch to form this gusset down here. So now we have these lines where they intersect down here. So let me draw those in. If I can even see them, it's hard for me to see. So I'm drawing them in the best I can. So those lines down here, you have the three quarters of an inch and the one inch. You're going to draw a line across here. And here's that, that first score line. And then all these score lines. You got all these score lines coming down. See that? So here's this top score line here. Just go over here. And then the inner score line here. You are going to be cutting this out on both sides. So get your scissors. So you're going to come down to this top score line from where you did it at the bottom. You're going to go over there. And then you're going to come in from this inner score line that you did on the side. If I can see if I can get that straight.
and you're just going to cut that bit out. Same thing on this side. I can't see very well, so I got to clean this up. Might have been a little crooked, but so I cut mine out on both sides. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold it on those inner lines. So those inner score lines, this one, this one, and this one. Just fold those on the inner score line. Fold and burnish real well. Then go ahead and form your quarter inch gusset at the bottom. So fold that up, Start always start in the middle. Keep your line straighter if you do that. So now we got our quarter inch gusset down here. Like that. Now these, so you folded it in now you're going to fold it back on itself on that score line. Try to keep that straight and burnish that. And then fold over again. And burnish that real well. Go to the other side. There was the score line that you made. There's the, the burnish where you made on that, that score line. And you're going to fold over the next score line. Fold and burnish. Fold this one over and burnish that real well. So you should have something like this. So what you're going to do with this base page, this is a quarter inch strip on both ends. You are going to adhere that quarter inch strip here. And, oops, did I cut this too short? No, <laughs> oh my goodness. So you're going to adhere these quarter inch, this half inch strip right there on this base page and then here. Like that. This base page may be a little bit too big so I may trim it on, but let me see. Once I get that on, is it a little bit too big? Yeah. Seems like it's a little bit too big. I need to have it so it lines up with this, this score line here. So I need to cut, you can see how much I need to cut. It's, this one's lined up here. So I need to trim this down so it fits in that score line. So you can see where I need to trim it. I need to trim it just behind that score line. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. How did I do? So I got that one in and this one, and now it fits. So you may, you're probably going to need to trim yours up too a little bit. So I'm going to adjust the base to seven and three eighths inches, and that seems to work out well. So we can go ahead and adhere these half inch the wing sides on. Just make sure you clear the, the fold line at the bottom and then you're going to be adhering this part on here. 
So we've got our little accordion here. We're going to adhere this down on this side and then adhere this on this side and then I'll be right back after I get that down. So I have my half inch flaps attached to the base page. They are lined up with this score line at the bottom. They're lined up with the score line at the bottom there. So it clears that quarter inch gusset at the bottom. These are adhered. So you have your half inch flaps over the back of this base build. Now we're going to be adding tape along the edge of this and we're going to be pulling it up and squaring off our gusset and attaching it to that base page. So I'm going to get my um, my tape. This is three quarters of an inch so I'll be adding tape down here and then pull this up and square it off and lay that down. So with those those half inch flaps in and this is lined up oh my gosh I can't see with these half inch flaps in they're ap applied to the base page and it's the bottom of the base page is lined up to that score line down at the bottom where you have that gusset right before the gusset next thing you're going to do is add score tape or glue to the bottom of this flap, this is three quarters of an inch, and you're going to bring it up and you're going to form your, your square off your gusset here. So you want this squared off and you want this side squared off too, like that. So I am going to go ahead and do that and make sure everything's squared off and I'll be right back. I pulled my score tape, but I wasn't feeling confident, so I put some of this tacky glue on that has a longer dry, drying time than um, art glitter glue. Then I can feel more confident about scoring, getting my edges squared off, and then adhering it all the way down on both sides. That way, if I need to make any adjustments, I have some time. So that side looks good. Square this off and this side looks good. I'll hold that in a little bit. So it should be squared off like that. Since I have glue, now it's going to take a while to dry, but they're both squared off. So this is all in and it's secure. So that looks good. So now we're going to put in our top flap. And this is like, a, at, if you have it, 80, 85 pound paper. Seven and a half inches long, four and a half inches wide up here like this. And you're going to put it in the four inch side and you're going to score it at three quarters of an inch and one inch and you are going to fold that and make your quarter inch gusset and once you get that all burnished down what you're going to do with this piece is you're going to adhere it to the back of your base build like this. So just make sure it should be even with your pocket down here. As you can see it's even with the pocket down there. I did round the edges with a corner rounder and then that's just going to go in and I'm probably going to miter these a little bit right there just because they're sticking out just a tad. So I'm going to miter that three-quarter of an inch flap. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this round the edges here and then put this down. So you're going to adhere this. There's my score tape. There is your quarter-inch gusset right there. So you're just going to adhere this 
right below that score line, right there so it's straight. And then just make sure you clear the sides okay and that they, they look straight too. So I'm going to do that. Got to get down, get to my head down and do that. And then I will be right back. So this top flap is in. I lined it up with that quarter inch gusset down here and made sure it covered the ends right here and the, the gusset is squared off. So it's like this. Get that gusset squared off up there. So remember, this is black and this this is black and this is black. I'm just showing you with the white so you can see. So it's going to be kind of like that. And then you're just going to put in some magnets. You're going to put a magnet up here and here. And then you're going to transfer them down to here. So you go ahead and put your magnets and transfer them down. Just make sure when you transfer down, you, you do that with this gusset squared up. So when you transfer it down, do one set at a, side at a time, square it up, put that one down, and then square this side up and put that one down. I'm not going to be using magnets because this is just a demo. So get those magnets here, here, and transfer down here. And then this envelope is basically built. Then it's just putting on the designer paper. So you have your accordion envelope made. Now we need to decorate it. Got your magnets in. So this is going to take some precise cutting because we need to use this page not only for the envelope, but we need to use part of this for the front cover. So you're going to get this page from the patterns. It's 12 by 12 sheet. So imagine this is your 12 by 12 sheet right here, this craft card stock. So you got your 12 by 12. You are going to measure from the bottom six and three quarters up. Six and three quarters up, and you are going to cut it right there. And you are going to save this piece here. So measure six and three quarters up and cut it. Save this. This is this is real important for the front cover. Then with the piece that you have, the six and three quarter inch piece that you cut off, you are going to measure two and five eighths inches in from this left side, and you are going to cut it in. So you are going to measure two and five eighths inches in and you're going to cut it in. And you should be getting it cut right about where this greenhouse starts. It'll be about right there. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this two and five eighths inches in from the left side. So I'm going to cut it. So I've cut this craft card stock two and five eighths inches in, and that's about where I, I end up, right where that greenhouse starts. Next, what you're going to do with this piece, now that you've got it cut on the left side, is you're going to go up here, and you are going to have a little hangover down here that you're gonna to have to trim off, and it's gonna be some of the snow. So you're going to mark it off, and it's usually, I think mine was, like a quarter of an inch. You're going to cut that part off so you are getting the proper fit top to bottom on this envelope. You're gonna cut that off and then you're gonna come over to this side and you're going to cut this part off. You just measure it. Mine is going to be about Not quite seven and a half, seven and 
three eighths, a little bit more than seven and three eighths. But you measure yours depending on how you made your pocket. So I'm going to cut off, trim this off down here, and I'm going to trim this off here. So here's my piece. This is seven and, I forgot what I said. This is about seven and three eighths. It's not quite seven and a half. The pocket is seven and a half. So this is about, about seven and three eighths. So if you get those cuts right, just follow those cuts, then you will have your paper here. And that will, that will be covering this pocket. So let me show you what it's going to look like. There's the pocket. So you've got the greenhouse here, and then it ends over at the red house, and it goes up to the top here, and you trimmed off some of this snow down here. Why did I do this? Because I want I didn't want to cut any of the houses in half. So here we have like basically four complete houses in our scene. So get that trimmed off and inked and put in. So now you got that adhered. Now we're going to cover the top of the, this top flap. So we've got this piece. It's basically these snowflakes up here. So you're going to take that piece and you're going to put it down on your envelope here and you are going to go ahead and measure out. This is seven and a half, so it's going to be seven and three eighths and you're going to cut it seven and three eighths. Same measurement as this piece here. So I'm going to cut that. So you have this piece cut. I didn't do, do it right, but um, just pretend I cut it right. I didn't quite cut it right. <laughs> pretend that's seven and three eighths, and then you're just going to mark it here. This is a three inch pocket. So this should be like um, two and seven eighths. And you're going to cut that So there's the top of your of your your pocket. You may may need to do some trimming, and then you just round the corners here. So you have this piece in, and it's what you have left over is this and this from this paper. So you have the top part of this left over, and you have this piece left over here. I think it goes like this. So you should have these two pieces left over. We will be using these for our front cover. So make sure you have these. Save, save these two bits from here. You will need them. So that is the covering of the envelope. For the inside of your, your flap and the inside here, you should have one piece left of this from the 8x8 collection. I know we used one sheet basically for page two when we did it here and here. This was the wood grain, so it was not from here. So you should have one piece left uh, and I know we used it in other pla another place too. This page was from the 12 by 12, so you did not cut into that. So you should have this piece left. If not, you'll probably have some from the 12 by 12. So I think that's what happened to, no, this is all from my eight by eight. So I just used this from my eight by eight. If you have a piece that's from the 8x8 and one's from the 12x12, 12 12, it doesn't really matter. So that's what I used to mat the inside of this flap. 
and then the rest of it I kind of put down in this pocket like that. Let's see how far down it went. It stopped about right here. Went over those little flaps of the, the pocket envelope so it's nice and smooth. So that's what I used. This little strip, this green little strip, look through your scraps. You should, you've cut through these papers. You should be able to find some little green stripes and you're using like little more than one. Um, this is a quarter inch gusset, so you're using less than a quarter inch. It's going to be almost like one eighth, a little one eighth plus. So get one of these strips somewhere from this paper if you can. And then that's what you're going to put down. Ink it and put it down. Make sure it clears the edges there. So that's what I did. Next, you're going to get your album. So now you have this piece complete. It's been, uh, got your magnets in, your paper in, so we're ready to, to adhere it to the inside of your back cover. So get your album. And what you're going to do before you adhere this down, this should fit top to bottom like this. This is going to fit top to bottom, but you're going to have these little spaces on each side. This is seven and a half. So you're, it's, this is eight and a half. So what you're going to do, or what I did, is I cut out these strips from the eight by eight, these pieces here, and you, you can just cut out, where's the half inch? You can cut out a half inch, or what, what, what I ended up doing is, see where this red line starts? on this holly garland part, I just cut over a full half an inch. And you can just cut to the green and include that green if you want. So cut from this red line over to the green. And then you're going to adhere this down so it is the, the garland, how did I do it? So it's going to be the garland that is facing the outside. Let me see if I have a strip of this so I can sh I can show you. So I I had a scrap, so this is all I have um, to show you. So I cut it right there. So you can, oops. Oh, that's not the wick. It's like this. So I cut it like that. You can see where I cut it. So you have this strip. So you're gonna cut one, um, this is eight and a half, so it's going to be eight and three eighths, a little bit more than eight and three eighths. And you're going to put this so the garland is facing on the outside here, like that, all the way down. And then on this side, the garland is facing out like this, all the way down. And then you're going to get your envelope. And the envelope is going to be plopping down like this on each side. So it's going to be looking like, like that. Now remember, this piece should be the length of your envelope. I think that's how I had mine, the length of the envelope. So you cannot put this envelope in until you get these bits put in. So let me show you what it's going to look like. Here is this garland piece, this piece, that that strip we just put in. It goes from top to bottom like that. On both sides. So 
So like I said, once you have these in and make sure they, this one does clear that fold line, then you go ahead and plop this down, center top to bottom, and it should be centered with these garland pieces. So that will give you the amount, right amount of room that you need. So that will be done. The last thing that I did was I decorated the top of my envelope with those three stamps. You can use anything you want up there. So this little stamp was from this 8x8. We had already cut this out, so there's that little stamp right there. That one. And then the teddy bear and this guy... Here's the teddy bear. This is from the 12 by 12. That one and this one. So those are the two I cut, but you can use any stamps that you want. There's plenty of stamps on here. So that's it. This back, back inside cover page is done. 